Well, it being the British Grand Prix, uh, we thought we'd do something a little bit British with Lewis, who's always up for doing something uh, a little bit more exciting. So we brought him down here to RAF Scampton with the Red Arrows, and uh, he's going to experience um, some of the G-forces that they experience. He's going to sit in the back of one of the Red Arrows and do a full display with the Red Arrows. This is something I've wanted to do for a long, long time. And, um, I think I was invited to do it a few years ago, but around the Grand Prix, um, mm -hmm. close to the Grand Prix, or the Grand Prix weekend. But I'm just uh, very grateful to be here and uh, grateful for everyone to be here and, and uh, looking forward to the experience. The logistics of putting this shoot together have been character building. It is quite complicated. Uh, there's a lot of cameras, mainly mini cameras. We have a couple of these reds to do some slow motion stuff and we have two or three um, normal cameras following the guys around all day, you know, kind of fly on the wall style. You couldn't help me cut that back up a leg, could you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You know, this always happens with me when I put my when I've got a race suit on. And uh, it always drops down the back. I do? Yeah. And it's quite a tight schedule. A lot of people to get all in the right place at the right time. I think with the helicopter, we've got about 25 cameras in total on the job. We're going to run the car alongside a Red Arrow too. We were going to do a bit of a drag race, but to be honest, Lewis would just leave the Red Arrow for dead. Whereas top speed, obviously, the Red Arrow would really... been up in a, in a jet before but it was like more than a decade ago and I'm not as fit as I used to be so the thing that really gets you is the, the different G you know goes really it's trying to push the blood down to your feet and when they started to pull more and more G you start having this sort of closing in effect of your vision and of course if they were to keep that G going eventually you reach the point where you pass out but thankfully they, they bail out of it and you don't have that sensation what was interesting for me is Lewis said he felt a, a little bit sick during the flight so it can't be anything to do with sort of fitness levels because clearly he's you know younger and fitter. Incredible, they're, they're so skilled. You know, you're flying 15 feet separation between the aircraft. You take off like that. You do rolls. You do full you know loop the loops and the skill level they have is just off the scale. There's many similarities between the teamwork that we have in Formula One. We have to trust the mechanics. They have to trust the mechanics. You have to trust in your machine. You know, you have to trust in those around you. So I think the teamwork element, the technology, aerodynamics play an absolute vital role in an aircraft and that's something which clearly Grand Prix racing is all about. Sometimes you get some guys are pretty nervous flying with us and uh, Lewis was all over it, so uh, as if he's done it before. We came into the arrival bend over here at RAF Scampton with the blue smoke on changing to white pretty quickly. As we came around the corner here I did a quick roll back which is a very sharp aileron roll back into formation. Gave Lewis a quick heads up that it was coming, but he whooped with joy as we um, as we rolled it upside down over the formation. <laughs> It was absolutely fantastic. He was a really good passenger. He enjoyed every minute of it. He uh, told me afterwards it was one of the greatest things he'd ever done. And uh, you know, I, I couldn't wish for, a, for a, a, a better compliment than that. I think there were one or two giggles um, during some of the, uh, the aerobatics that we were doing. But no, he, he, he was really, really calm, collected, uh, and absolute professional throughout, and just really enjoyed the experience. It was a, a, an honor to fly him. Oh.